Hey guys, um, tonight I'm going to do two tests, and what I'm going to do is two beta tests. The first one is Avast Internet Security version 6, if I remember right. Now there's got to be an about somewhere. Ah, there it is. Oh. 6.0.934 this is a very early beta but it is a public beta so if it's a public beta it means things should be working decently on it some of the new things um, you still have behavior shield here and it's still not turned on from the factory or from the main settings so I'm just gonna leave it like it is on this test I this is gonna be one of those install and and do tests of course you have the firewall and now they've added a couple of different things. Um, the sandbox was already there, but it was a manual sandbox. Now they've added some auto sandbox technology. And you can see it comes enabled. They have a safe zone technology now, which is um, basically it, it protects your system from, it, it basically shields your system. So when you do sensitive things online, shopping, banking, you're doing it without the possibility of being, you know, key loggers or spyware that type of stuff um, now they have a web rep which is basically um, it tells you the rep uh, how trusted websites are and the site blocking um, now this is of course the paid version but some of these are coming in the free version too so it's installed and it's fully updated you saw we had the secured little check mark deal So now we see that there are three services running here. We have a 4 meg service for the actual VAST service. We have the firewall and the antivirus. It's about 8 to 10 megs right around there, so that's not bad. So let's uh, do some tests. I have, I think, I don't know, 13 or so links, something like that. 10 to 15, somewhere in that range that we can test out and try and see. How it does. You can see the uh, web reputation here. It explains how it works. How do you like this site? What it is? Just a little add on that they came out with. So it's based on a few votes because they just came out with it. They don't have a lot of votes in there yet. So let's get started with these tests. Now, their automatic sandbox should prompt me based on from what I remember it's it's different than the Komodo sandbox the Komodo sandbox kind of goes do I know what the program is do I trust it I don't know what it is I don't trust it clear cut basically this one supposedly from what I read uses heuristics to determine if a program is creating uh, malicious activity and if it is it'll prompt you to put it in the sandbox so we'll see how well it works in this version. Okay, so this one was blocked. Okay, the web shield, no, file system shield, blocked that one. Okay, maybe it blocked something else, but not that one. We'll see. Okay, that one's a little bit bigger, so we're going to let it hang out there for a little bit.
Okay, didn't get any warning from those. Okay, that one was blocked. Web shield. That one's dead. So is that one. Sheesh. Okay, you can see it's doing stuff in the background because the little icon is spinning. Oh, it looks like that installed itself pretty easily. This is supposedly installing a patch that will raise the limit of a 32-bit version of Windows 7 to 64. Hmm. Okay, we'll see what happens with that. one here is in a zip folder. So, so far we haven't gotten that many warnings. It's got to be some kind of weird exploit or something. Okay, so now I'm going to open up my testing tools, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Kill Switch. And I'm going to see what's running around in the background that we can permanently disable if there's anything running around in the background. Other than, you know, we know that one security patch. While that's coming up, Make sure that it's fully updated. We're going to hide safe objects. Okay, so that's malware. That's known as malware already. This is being analyzed, and we know that's malware, but uh, we'll see how many detect it. Okay. Let's do a full system scan. Komodo and some malware analysis determine that this is suspicious, this id.zip. Click on the properties of that one. We're still waiting on a couple of the verdicts for that. We're still waiting on a squared to analyze this file, but we, we know it's malware. It's that fake AV. 
and we can see that this one so far is um, suspicious. And this is scanning in the background. So I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to pause the video while, OK, there we go. We got GData came up with it. And here's the funny thing. Uh, engine A, which is the Avast engine, should have detected this. But for, it, but for the weirdest thing, I've seen it sometimes where the Avast engine, the old one, the 4.8, because they have two versions in virus total, one engine will detect it. And then where it says Avast 5, the other one won't. So it's the weirdest thing. So I'm going to pause the video, and I will be back when Avast is done scanning. OK, guys, so what happened here? Um, the computer was forced into a restart, and, and now it won't restart. So it automatically tried to fix. It's trying to fix the computer to keep it from, to get it to start. Um, I wasn't kind of paying attention. I was waiting for the scan to finish, and I just kind of decided to look at the screen and go, wait a minute, what am I seeing here? So I'm going to let it try to finish, you know, to try to fix itself. And if not, I will um, see if I can get up into safe mode and do a scan with maybe malware bytes or something to see if it finds anything. Well, I'm sure it will find something, but we'll see what the damage is. So let me pause the video again, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I tried to get into safe mode, and this is what I get. Nothing. It's just sitting here not doing anything. So, effectively, this computer right now is completely dead. So, just for the sake of everybody doing this video... Oh, look, it's finally... Never mind, I thought it wasn't popping up. It's been sitting like this for like three or four minutes. Okay, my bad. I thought it was stuck again. Alright, so... I'm going to see if I can, uh, you know what I'm going to try, I'm going to open up, Ooh. almost looks like something happened to a vast. It's gone. Something completely uninstalled vast. Look at that. It's all gone. Wow, okay, that's very weird. I've never seen that before. Um, <laughs> so, let me run malware bytes and let's see what we find. Uh, I'm not connected to the net because I'm in here without, of course. So let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart and I'm going to restart in safe mode with um, networking. I'm just going to do a preliminary scan with the signatures that are built into the um, actual you know, installer and fix whatever it finds and then try to restart in safe mode with networking, update it and do another scan. So let me pause and I'll be right back. Okay, so let me show you the first scan here. I found four things. So the heuristics here found something in temporary internet files. So that's no big deal. And I found a back door that security shield um, that rogue sorry I kind of mixed them up I got a registry key change here and an added on backdoor agent so I'm going to remove these and I'm going to restart and then I'm going to start in networking in safe mode with networking and do another scan so I will be back with the results from that scan Okay guys, so this is the second scan with the with Malwarebytes actually updated and you can see what big of a difference updating does. It found 21 things. So let's see what it found here. We have a registry key change, we have temporary net file, I don't care about that, but we have that file on the desktop at the spyware banker. We have temporary internet file, that's fine, another registry key change. 
temporary temporary and then we have a file in Windows we have registry key change temporary internet file um, we have a Trojan Trojan registry keys Trojan registry keys Trojan 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 man there is just a bunch of stuff so that's very interesting so I'm gonna clean all that up and I'm gonna see if I can actually get the computer to start now in normal mode so I'll be right back with the result okay guys so let me tell you what happened here what I had to do is I tried to start up in regular mode and it just wouldn't do it it just kept putting me into safe mode so I went into safe mode with networking and I ran a scan from Hitman Pro and you can see it found a bunch of stuff in temporary internet files and it found a couple of suspicious files here that uh, is possibly malicious software we know it's malicious software so I think I'm gonna end this review right now there's not much more um, I would could be able to do what I'd have to do more than likely is boot up with multiple CDs try to clean it up then probably boot up with a Windows CD see if I can do a repair install get or at least get the startup to be repaired so it would just be a pain in the butt in the end though I'm not really impressed by this beta version now people go, are gonna say well it's a beta version well it is a beta version number one but it's a public beta version a beta version means especially when you put it out to the public that we got everything working but there might be odd bugs here and there but not once tonight did I see the automatic sandbox going hey I want you to sandbox this or I want you to sandbox that or anything like that that it didn't do anything not nothing and it completely let me destroy the computer so I hope that by their final version they're gonna have that fixed and hopefully by then uh, they'll have their behavior blocker up and running uh, I mean it's running but it's not activated from the factory I could activate it but that's not something I'm gonna do and the second thing is apparently something was uninstalled Avast because it's not there anymore I'll show you again it's just gone you can see there's no files left in here it's empty so whatever did this was a pretty good piece of software because it got rid of Avast off the system so, and it was so it wasn't able to protect itself from being uninstalled it, it's weird I might be wrong about this because it's a new version or whatnot but I'm almost betting you I'm not I'm supposed I'm almost can bet you there's supposed to be programs in there files program files you know all sorts of stuff so alright guys uh, I'm gonna end this review take care of a good night and I'll try to see if I can get another one done tonight before I have to go to bed so 